welcome back to Scale Model Review. Uh, today we're going to do a quick review on the Eduard Lavachkin Alley 7 uh, in 148 scale and it's their Profi Pack edition which means it gets all, gets all the extra odds and sods. Um, there's a quick shot of the box. Okay and around the side you've got some scheme details here. Um, several different funky schemes actually. Um, some more shots, uh, obviously some uh, top-down views of the aircraft as well. And that's it. Uh, inside the box, there's a nice bit of box art as well, they're in a dogfight with a German. Right there. Okay, inside we have some light buff brown sprues, uh, only two sprues actually. Let's have a look. Have a look at this. I think the the Lavachkin is a uh, is a quite a nice looking plane actually, and it's quite uh, indicative of um, quite a few aircraft around at the same time as well. That you know very much uh, the same. Uh, but the quality of the plastic is good. It's quite a shiny plastic, and it's uh, that nice Edouard stuff that's um, quite nice and solid and crispy. Uh, the lines, the details, very fine. On there's some very fine detail on there, which is really nice to see. Um, but I think is uh, has become quite synonymous with with Edouard at the moment. Um, there's no press marks. You know, there's a little bit. There's quite a bit of flash on the the actual sprue itself, but uh, the pieces not a jot. Uh, there's a few little burrs, tiny little burrs, things like that. But um, apart from that, you know, very nice, clean and crisp wings. Fuselage. There's not a lot of detail on the on the, the Vochkin, I don't think. Um, the panels are, are few and far between, so there's not a lot of panel lines or anything on there. Um, but what is there is fine, and it seems to be right in scale as well with regards to how deep they are. They're not too pronounced, which is nice. Uh, the wheels are two-sided, um, bog standard wheels. Uh, the wheel covers have got a li nice little bit of detail on the inside there. As you can see, just something to pick out with your weathering. But uh, apart from that, I'll give you a shot of the wings as well. I forgot to do that, didn't I? Just to get the idea of the very finely engraved detail. Uh, but apart from that, all the pieces seem to be there. It's not a big kit, and I think this is going to be put together in the space of um, a few hours, actually, probably a couple of hours. Um, just give you an idea the seat and the cockpit bezels. Uh, there's a seat, and it's got a nice bit on the back so that you can pick that out. Uh, also, cockpit itself, not really pronounced detail, but it does have some there. So. There is something there that you can pick out and work on. Not a great deal though. Um, but yeah, so just two sprues, so that, that's gonna build up. You can see that's gonna build up very, very quickly. Um, and uh, I think this is gonna be one of those quick uh, rejuvenating products, uh, projects. You know when you've um, you've had a long build on something and it's taken a while and it's, it's kicked your ass a bit, you know, in the fact that it, there's been lots of problems with it. And I'm thinking about the Hurricane one I've got going on at the moment. Um, and you think, oh, do you know what, I really fancy just a quick kit, just to get your mojo back and get on with it. Um, I think that this this is quite a nice quick kit. And, um, you know, I was quite surprised there was only two sprues of the stuff. And really, it doesn't say how many parts are in there. Uh, but, oh yeah, 65 parts. So uh, not many at all. So 65 parts is a small kit these days. Uh, so that's going to go together really quickly and, and easily by the looks of things. Um, the clear parts in its separate bag, which is excellent. Um, now, as you know, I'm a fan of Eduard clear parts. I think they're absolutely awesome, most of them. And again, beautifully clear. None of the magnifying effects you get with some of them. No webbing, no cracking, no anything absolutely spot on you can see right through those look absolutely beautiful 
and they really are some of the best cockpits I've seen at Eduard, so they really are nice. Um, so, pop that in. It's quite a big cockpit actually. Looking at it, there's a lot of glass on there, so it's quite a big space. So it might be worth just getting like um, just a cockpit set of uh, photo etch for this. I don't know. I'll have a look at that um, because that is quite a lot of glass there. So you're going to see that cockpit quite well. So I'll have a look into that. Uh, being a profi pack, obviously you also get the uh, a photo etch um, laser cut uh, masks, which uh, I always love. And as I say, I always get the masks for, for nearly every set. So uh, the photo etch itself. Um, this has got some seat belts on there. It looks like a, a couple of radiator uh, grills, uh, which really look nice actually. Um, and uh, a colour cockpit, so I don't have to go and get any extra. I forgot this is a pro pack. Uh, so it's already got the extras in there, which is excellent. So let me just show you these because they are excellent. Those grills are beautiful. And uh, as you can see there, it's a nice colour on the cockpit bezels and everything. The seat belts are all coloured as well. It's all pre-coloured, so I mean that's a bit of work that you don't have to do in the cockpit area. Uh, so that's always very nice. But uh, that does look very good indeed. Uh, the decals. Uh, now there's several schemes in here, and the decals all look in, to be in register. Um, again, the 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 film is cut very close to the actual decal itself, which is something that I really like, um, and uh, I can't see any problems with those whatsoever. They're yeah, very good indeed, and all in register. Nice bright colours. Okay, several schemes on there, which we'll have a look at now. The instruction manual again. Love Eduard's instruction manuals. Glossy magazine and it is thick paper. That's that's good. 130 gram, 120 gram paper. It's good quality paper. Always in colour. Um, really, really good. Uh, good write up here in English and Czechoslovakian. Um, I don't speak that, obviously. Uh, but it's a good good write up there on the the Levachkin, uh, the LA7. Um, then you've got your sprue call outs numbered as well, which is good. So if you do get any bits that fall off your sprue. Um, you can always refer to your, your reference numbers there and you know exactly what part it is. Um, you've also got uh, your photo etch and everything in blue on here so you know how to do it. Then it says what you've got to paint. Um, so really, really nice. And the, the uh, instructions are always very easy to follow with Eduard. Um, they, they go together really, really well. Um, and as I say, there's, there's not a lot to this. I think it's going to get together really quickly. You can go look three pages of instructions. Colour schemes, I think there's some really funky ones there. Um, I do, I've got to say, I do like this one. Uh, now, this is uh, White 17, Major Vladimir Lavrienkov um, of the 9th GIAP for 1945. They've got a Vasily, I like that one, Vasily, it's great. Uh, Zaitsev, um, I thought Vasily Zaitsev was a sniper actually um, but anyway Vasily Saitsev um, uh, white 10 uh, which is this one here again that's quite a nice looking scheme uh, you've also got uh, white 63 uh, there's no uh, pilot name on that one and you've also got white 12 which is Colonel Philip M Kosolapov um, uh, with this this one here now I kind of like it but I really think that's really Americanized um, so I'm not going to do that because you can get many, many American planes uh, aircraft with that on. So uh, I think I'm going to do either number A or number B. I'm liking B at the moment. I do like this style with the flash through it. Um, it's just a bit different. If I go for a more grimed up one, I'll probably go for this one, which has got the white with the red um, edging there, which looks quite nice, I think. So yeah, so all the colours, all the colours are in uh, Hobby Aqueous and uh, Hobby Enamels. Uh, Mr. Colour and, and uh, they're all guns and they've got some metal colours on there as well so all the call outs of that I'm in the process of switching I've got Tamiya and guns at the moment but I'm in the process of switching over to guns completely uh, now um, and I'm just going to fork out probably about 120 quid just to completely get the whole guns range um, and slowly wear down the Tamiya stuff in fact I might stick the Tamiya on eBay 
I've got about 100 odd bottles of that which you know haven't been touched. I just find the guns, even though it takes just a slight little bit longer to dry, um, but if you add some X20A, Tamiya X20A, then it doesn't dry, it dries really quickly. Um, if you use their leveling thinner, Mr. Color leveling thinner, it takes ages because it's a self leveling one. But anyway, back to this, sorry, I digress. Uh, there's, there's a couple of other schemes as well. Um, so there's six in total, which is great for a, a box kit. Um, and this is um, uh, Prague from 1945, white 06. Again, it's got a funky um, spinner cap there. Um, and you've got white 06, uh, the che Czechoslovak Fighter Regiment from 1946. Um, some nice bright colours. Oh, it's quite great. I love this scheme. Very Russian. Uh, from the SU 27s and things like that. Um, but uh, oh, there's another scheme, seven. Um, seven schemes on the. Oh, no, no, it's not another scheme. That's just to tell you where all the stencils go. But yeah, so advertising a couple of other things there. But I will love their instructions. As I say, as I've said several times now, I, I'm, I'm actually really into Edouard at the moment. I think they're very professional. Everything's done properly and um, you can't fault them at all. But that is the uh, Lavachkin LA7 148 scale from Eduard, and that's the Profi Pack edition. Thanks a lot, and uh, until next time, goodbye.